it away, he tried to put it behind him and compose classical music, because people told him that the tango was, was popular music, it wasn't classical music. And then he realized that he put it away for too long, and really that was what was in his heart, and he realized, let me compose music that is classical, but is tango. He combined the two and did something for tango music and for classical music that no one had done before. Um, and everything that he wrote is in that style, so anything that you might hear by a is in that same kind of tango style. His piece that he wrote for guitar and flute um, is called The History of the Tango because he chronicles 1900 as the first movement, 1930 as the second movement, 1960 as the third movement, and then the fourth movement, uh, today into tomorrow, and what, what he thinks that might be for tango. We're only going to play the first two movements today. Um, we would have liked to play all of them, but we also want you guys to get some dinner.